All right, tubes. We've got us our next project here. As you can see, uh, I picked up this here uh, Ford Taurus. It's not mine. Uh, it's actually a friend's, but I uh, I just picked it up. Literally picked it up, not as in like bought it, but I just picked it up today. And as you can see, it got T-boned pretty good here. So uh, we're going to be working on uh, putting some new doors on there and uh, straightening out the frame a little bit and getting this thing uh, back on the road. All right, you know. So the first order of business here is going to be to get both of these doors off here. And uh, the easiest one to get off is going to be this back door here. So I'm going to try and get this door off of here. And what, what, I, what I've started doing, started yanking on it already. Yeah, it's a, it, it just came home re open real easy, but I, I, I did do some yanking on it already. So that actually, that actually gets that open enough that uh, I can get in here and uh, I can get to the bolts here. And you got 13 millimeter bolts here. I'm just going to, uh, going to pull them out and then... Uh, Use my Torx bits to get this uh, this little uh, you know your thing that keeps your door from opening all the way. Get that out of there, and then uh, hopefully we can pull this door off. All right, tubes. I got this door off, and uh, like I was like I was mentioning, uh, you know, there's there's damage that we didn't see before. Uh, you know, this is this is pretty crushed in here, so uh, we'll have to address that. Um, this one hinge here has also been 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 widened a little bit but probably not not in a way that even affects its uh that's not moving because my socket's still on there but um it's not really affecting its motion so i just got to put the little little tab back on there i'll have to see if it actually still lines up with the other door it should because i don't think that was stretched out that way uh but now i gotta get this door off here and it won't open right now so what we're gonna have to do i'll probably have to pull the door panel off on the inside so i can get to it um which I might actually do first, and if that doesn't work, if I can't operate it from the inside, then I'm going to cut a hole in here, and uh, we'll probably try and pull it out. Alrighty, just cut us a little, uh, little slit in the door here that'll give us some access to see what's going on in here. Pull that out of the way. Hopefully, yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. Obviously, wear gloves, or otherwise, that when I just slipped there, I would have been on my way to an emergency room. So, don't be stupid. Uh, I still got a little piece hooked up. Alright. So now, I'll pick you guys up here. The idea here is I can, uh, I can see what's going on with the mechanism. So stand by here. Well, I develop a game plan and then uh, we'll try and implement it. Alrighty now, so I've, uh, I've come to the conclusion that, that this actually is working. I, d I didn't think it was, but this is actually working, so it, it, it's possible for the door to unlatch. At this point, I'd like to introduce my next, uh, my next implement of destruction, which is this big giant lever here. I'm trying to get some leverage in here and pull this door open. Don't know if it'll work, but it will be easier. That's what I'm talking about. 